Do you want to give a room in your house a makeover, but you have a small budget? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can take thrifted items and make them into beautiful home decor. Make sure that you stay until the end when I show you the final result, and I think you are going to be very pleased at how easy these projects really are. This is gonna be a really easy flip. I got this lamp at Goodwill and it was marked $6.99, but the green ticket was half off. So I only paid $3.50 for it. And then I got this lampshade at, on my road trip thrift trip, and I got it for 99 cents. So this, together is going to cost, what is that, less than $5. So I am just going to flip this lamp base. It's pretty, but I have something in mind for it just to make it, just to elevate it a little bit. So I'm just going to get started painting this lamp base. For the lamp, I'm using the color moss in the Waverly chalk paint. I don't even think I said hey to everybody when the video started, so hey, my friends. And if you are new, then welcome. My name's Melissa, and I hope you enjoy these thrift flips. That's what I love to do on this channel, so hope you enjoy. I finished the first coat, and it's now dry, and there are some spots that, you know, you can see brush strokes so that it's not you know, covered super well. So now I'm gonna go in with the second coat, but I'm just gonna use a stippling motion. I'm just gonna pounce the brush on there because I don't want any brush strokes. And I do kind of like the texture when it is kind of pounced on there. So I'm just gonna do this on the whole lamp. Lamps are one of those things that you need in your house, at least I do, but they're so expensive in the stores. And once I started doing thrift flips, I realized how just how easy it was to take a lamp from a thrift store and make it match my decor. And now it's just hard for me to justify paying full price for a lamp. Now that my paint's dry, I'm gonna first go over this with a clear wax, and I'm using the Waverly Clear Wax, and I'm just gonna go over all of the lamp base real good, and then use a shop towel to wipe everything back. Then I'm gonna go in with an antique wax, and I'm gonna be a little bit lighter with the antique wax and wipe it back a pretty good bit, um, because I don't want it to change the color of the lamp too, too much but this is what it looks like after I added the antique wax. And I do like it, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more blended. So now I'm gonna go in with a white wax. And this white wax was exactly what I needed. It made everything look very, you know, like it was made that way. So I'm really happy with the way the three waxes together looks. And like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure to stay till the end because I'm gonna give you the final reveal of all the projects at the end of the video. I got these three bottles, these three clear bottles from Target a while back and they're bud vases and I paid $5 for the three of them and I just thought they were really pretty but I've never, used them. I've never done anything with them. So I figured now would be a good time. So I, this is a very, very, very simple project. So I'm going to use some of the transfers from this transfer set. It's a transfer set that I got from Amazon. And so I'm just going to, I think I'm going to use this bird on one of them and I think maybe 
maybe this clock right here on one of them. And then I'm going to use one of these stamps. I think I'm going to use this stamp right here. I got this stamp set from Timu. I'll list it below as well. But just to kind of change it up a little bit. But this is something that is so easy to change up something that is just plain and making it into something that's really pretty. All right, I have it cut um, the size that it needs to be. And the thing with the transfers is that usually with paint, you can kind of have a second to move things around a little bit. But with glass, you have to know exactly where you want it and place it down because once it's on there, it's on there. So I'm gonna put it right, if my bottle will stop moving, I'm gonna put it right here, there. And then I'm just gonna push it down. And then I'm gonna use my stick. The transfer sets come with sticks and you just press down. Now this is gonna be a little more difficult just because it's the script and script is a little more finicky so I'm just gonna press my stick rub my stick on here and get that transfer transferred onto the project and you can see it's still not going down so it's gonna take me a minute to get this on here Once you're finished putting it on to the piece, then you're just gonna take that plastic and you're just gonna rub it really good on there. And get it to where it is sticking everywhere that it's supposed to stick. And there you go. Now, I'll probably leave this like it is. A lot of times you need to um, seal the transfer in but since this is on glass I think I'm just gonna leave it like this and just put it with some pretty florals coming out or just leave it plain I just think it's pretty plain so now I'm just gonna do the other one with the other transfer So in order to get the ink to not smear, because this is not a craft ink, I don't think, that I got from Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna have to get a good ink. But anyway, um, I had to spray it with a clear coat, and the only one I had is a matte finish. So it kind of took away some of that shine from the glass, but it still looks pretty. So I think I'm just gonna add just the butterfly and like I said I want it to kind of go off the edge so I'm just gonna do the same thing for this transfer as I did with the others and I had to cut this one pretty close because it had all the words around it all the script around it so I just have to make sure I just burnish it real well or transfer it really well before I remove the um, clear sheet. And hopefully since I put that clear coat on it, yeah, see it's coming right off. And if you ever are transferring something and you lift it up and you see it didn't transfer, you just lay that plastic piece back down and go back over it with the the stick and it just transfers right on. So it's really not hard to use transfers. You just have to make sure you get good quality transfers. And the shop where I am, where my booth is, 
we are starting to, we are going to start carrying Redesign with Prima products. So that's gonna be really cool. So if you live locally and you wanna come by the store to get some of these transfers, not this particular one, but the Redesign print with Prima transfers, you can come by the store because we're gonna start carrying them. But anyway, so here we go. There is this bottle done. So the more this is drying, the more it's not drying. I put that um, matte spray on it and it's still, it's smearing. And so I am going to probably just sand all this off because now I've got this transfer on there. So I'm probably gonna sand all this off and then just paint this bottle and put a transfer on top of it. All right, I have this painted with three coats of chalk paint. And what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna take this little metal rod and hold it. And I'm gonna spray it with a matte sealer because on glass, chalk paint kind of chips pretty easily. So I don't want it to do that. So I'm gonna spray it with a matte sealer. Now I'm gonna put this transfer onto the top, just like I did before. Just rub it really well with the stick, making sure it all transfers onto the project, and then rub it with the vellum. All right, I have the transfer on here, and I think it looks so pretty. And if you can see the gold around the edge, it's kind of coming off a little bit, plus I got some green paint on there. So, and it doesn't cover the top. So I'm gonna use this Gold Rush Luster around the top rim. And then once that's done, I, and this is the color of it, I am going to use the same, this is what I used to spray the paint in, the acrylic sealer matte finish. This is just something I got from Walmart. So, but it's, it says it's fast drying and it actually is very fast drying and it worked really well. So I am gonna use this. Once I finish painting the gold, I'm gonna use this to spray it all in and seal it all. little bit of the gold paint on my brush so I'm just gonna go very lightly around just not even the full edge just kind of where my brush accidentally hits and just kind of put a little bit of that gold along this edge I think that'll finish it off real pretty and then once I spray it this project will be done I really like that gold around the, the edge. That's pretty. Let's see if you can see it. See, it just adds a little touch. I like that. All right, now let me spray it and then we'll be done. For this project, I'm gonna be making over these candle sticks. And I got these from Salvation Army. I don't know where they came from. There's still actually a sticker on the bottom. I need to take that off. But I got these from Salvation Army and I only paid $1.50 for each of these. Now, it's not really it's not really bad the way it is. It does have a little area right here, but I don't like the it's like they try to use like gold on it but it looks yellow, so I don't like that. So I'm gonna use the moss in the Waverly paint, and then I'm gonna finish it with some antique wax and possibly some white wax, depending on how dark that antique wax makes it. I'm just gonna play around with it, but it has some good detail, so I wanna make sure I bring all of that out. So I'm just gonna get these cleaned up, and then I'm gonna paint them. 
I think these little brushes are my favorite, these little chip brushes, because I do have to pounce the paint in a lot on this one because of all the detail. So these chip brushes are just really good for that. Because the previous color was very similar to the color I'm painting it, I really only had to do one coat of the moss. And so now once that's dried, I'm gonna go over it all with a clear wax, the Waverly clear wax. And off camera, I did paint the other candlestick as well, but I figured there was no point in showing you me doing both of them since they both look the same and I did the same you know, process on both of them. But anyway, once I get the wax on there, I wipe off the excess with the shop towel. And then I decided that instead of doing the antique wax, I'm just taking a white wax and I'm just very lightly sort of dry brushing the white antique wax onto the edges of the piece just because I kind of liked the highlight of it. So instead of getting the antique wax into the depths, the white wax highlighted the edges. But here is the final reveal of all of the projects. I'm really happy with the way they all turned out. I can't wait to hear what you think of each project. I really think all of these projects turned out so good. I'm really pleased with the way they look and I just can't believe how easy they are. So if you have stuff around your house that you feel like doesn't match your decor anymore or if you thrift something that you feel like you want, to, you like the look of it, but it just doesn't match your home decor or if you just wanna update what you already have, this is how easy it is to do. I just think that these projects turned out so good. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I'm not sure which one is mine. I think maybe the little green bottle. But if you're new to my channel and you like this sort of thing, I would love it if you would consider being part of my YouTube family. I want you to make sure to click that subscribe button, click the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. I don't want you to miss any of my flips and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you wanna watch more flip videos, then check out the box you see on the screen right now and I'll see you next time. Bye.